jump into the family, Maddie girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakira. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I am back in my office filming another video because I'm like, why not? Today I wanted to share a quick little video on confidence and how you can start working on building your self-confidence um, and some of the tips that I use personally to help me with my confidence. So if you guys want to know, you know, some of the tips that I use when it comes to my confidence and when it comes to learning how to be more confident in yourself, then keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so I guess we're keeping this thing on my head. All right, so confidence. What is it basically? Confidence in a nutshell is basically just a belief in yourself. No one will believe in you more than you believe in yourself and that is something hard to kind of wrap your head around it in a way because we spend most of our life kind of like searching for soulmates and wanting people to like us and all that stuff when honestly none of that stuff matters you just need to like yourself at the end of the day right quite honest with you it's really hard to believe in yourself when the world basically doesn't believe in you and the world is constantly trying to beat you down so I'm gonna share with you guys a few tips if you need a little help and you need a little support in boosting your self-confidence a little bit, and these are tips that I personally use all the time. I have my ups and I have my downs, but when it comes to believing in myself, I know at the end of the day, I need to believe in myself more. I can believe in myself more. There are three factors that affect your self-confidence. Your DNA, your environment, and the choices that you make. Your DNA is basically how you are made up obviously um you know how your brain is programmed all of that we're not going to go into detail it's all a psychology thing but your dna um your environment so the people that are around you you know family members your friends um the school you go to work environment all of that stuff and the choices that you make as well those all, all those things can all be into get into detail but i'm not going to go into detail those three things do affect your self-confidence um, so once you understand those and you break those down and start to understand a little bit more you will start to get a, be a better understanding um, of yourself so those are just the three factors that you know impact your self-confidence now from those I'm gonna share with you guys three easy simple very easy simple I'm all about simple and easy tips here okay <laughs> three easy tips when it comes to boosting your self-confidence so the very first tip that I have for you when it comes to boosting your self-confidence is to listen to something listening to things can drastically improve your self-confidence and here is why we spend so much time listening to other things like listening to the advice of your parents or your friends or your co-workers you know going to school taking in all this information that it's hard to find ourselves within that I personally find when I listen to music listen to you know songs with lyrics songs without lyrics it brings me somewhere else other th than in the minds of others or in the advice of others or in the perspective of others so if i am going to listen to a podcast usually it's like a motivational session inspirational podcast and music kind of brings us to a place in a time that makes us feel good it makes us remember something or it can just even help us meditate you know lo-fi music is, is like a thing for me right now um and i think that helps you boost your self-confidence because it kind of brings you back to being grounded a little bit it brings you back to finding yourself again finding your voice again you know if you listen to an uplifting or motivational podcast you feel good about yourself you feel like you got encouraging words it brings you back to grounded and when you are back at grounded you can sprout and you can start fresh in a sense so if you ever need a little, little boost of self-confidence listen to some music or a podcast you know or be around people that will you know whisper sweet nothings in your ears to make you feel good but that's my first tip all right another tip for boosting your self-confidence um is literally easier said than done but it's believing you can learn i personally have a hard time with this tip simply because 
I am the, I'm a stuck in my ways type of a person and I have learned that when, when I get stuck in my ways, when I get stuck in like my limiting beliefs and feeling like things can only be one way, I lose confidence in myself. Um, so I've been trying to adapt um, into learning that I can learn, I can change, I can adapt and I can basically get through anything and I think when you believe you can learn you go from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset and when you have a growth mindset you will grow basically you won't be so stuck in feeling like things can be done one way and to me I feel like that's how you learn you learn when you obviously grow and who doesn't want to grow in their mind, right? If you are trying to grow your mindset, personal growth, or even anything that you wanna do in life, if you don't believe that you can learn from it, learn through it, then what is the point of doing it anyways? So believe you can learn and go from there. And this is honestly something that I am still personally working on is believing that I can do the things that I say that I can do. I tend to have imposter syn syndrome feeling like I can't and I shouldn't do things. Um, but I am working through it and whenever I believe in myself, it's always such a great feeling. <laughs> like right now, I'm very confident and you can probably tell with my voice, with my demeanor, with the fact that I have this thing on my head for some reason. I, I don't know. But I am very confident right now and I feel good that I'm confident, but in all honesty, it doesn't always stick around, you know what I mean? So um, I have a belief in myself that I can learn and I, I go on from there. All right, and another tip when it comes to boosting your self-confidence is, this one might be a little mm, to swallow, um, but understand you might and you probably will fail. I know, it's kind of big, it's, it's hard to swallow, but it's true. Once you understand that you'll probably not be the best at something or perfect at something, it's easier to kind of work yourself through it, if that makes any sense, because not everything is gonna be your way, not everything is going to work out the way you think it's going to work, and that's sometimes a hard reality for some people, because some people, you know, like, oh, I worked so hard at this and it just, it didn't work out and now I have to give up because I worked so hard at it and it's not working out. And that is the test in life, you guys. I'm letting you guys know this now. That is the test in life. If you give up, then you've given up, then you weren't supposed to have whatever it is that you were working on in the first place. If you've accepted that that's not what you were supposed to do in the first place, fine. But if you haven't accepted that and it doesn't make you feel good, then you need to get up Pick yourself up and you need to go after what you really, truly, and honestly want. And understand that it's not going to be just a straight path. Understand there's gonna be ups and downs and bumps along the way. I've been doing this personal growth journey for six or seven years now. Like ever since I became aware and I became conscious, I've been trying to work on my personal growth. And in the beginning, I used to think there was a point where I would get to a point and I wouldn't have to work so hard. And I had to understand that it's never ending. <laughs> you can always grow. There's always something to learn. You are always gonna be changing. There's always gonna be things coming in and out of your life that you're gonna have to learn to grow and adapt to. So personal growth never ends and I had to understand that. You just understand that when you try something, you might fail and understand that and adjust your mindset so that you know how to pick yourself up after that has happened. Um, and that will definitely boost your self-confidence because the more times you do something, the more confidence you get at it, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so those are my three tips for boosting your self-confidence. I hope this video helps in some way. I hope it helps you boost your confidence. If you are someone that's working on your self-confidence and need a little help, I hope these tips helped you guys. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. I wanna thank you guys for loving me and supporting me and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.